Okay, this is a Halo skinning tutorial for Halo PC, not CE. Most people are like, oh, no, I don't have CE. Well, it's not for CE, so it doesn't matter. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is back up your bitmaps.map. One way you can do this is by right-clicking your Halo icon, clicking Find Target. Then uh, scroll up to the Maps folder in there and go down and find the bitmaps.map in the uh, Maps folder. Takes me a little while to find it. You guys are probably staring at it, but I mean, I, I couldn't find out. Oh my! There it is, right there, somewhere near there. Um, what is that? Okay, you go right click and click copy. I don't actually click it because I already have a backup and I don't want to wait. Then right click anywhere on your desktop in a folder anywhere and click paste because this is just a backup. You'll see what's for in a sec. See, I have a whole folder for backups. I have all all the maps backed up because for modding, you need to replace the map thing for each map, not just the bitmaps, because the bitmaps will replace all the skins, and it'll bring it back to your normal uh, setup on skins in case you want to get rid of skins for an HPT or whatever. And how you do that is you just copy the uh, is you just copy the uh, bitmaps dot map that you have saved, and then you paste it back into the uh, into the Halo Maps directory, overriding all. And another way that you can get to that if you don't have a Halo icon for some reason and you're illiterate with computers and you have absolutely no idea, you just go into My Computer and then you go into your C program files, the default directory, then go to Microsoft Games or wherever you saved it. The default's Microsoft Games, most people wouldn't save it anywhere else. And just double click on Microsoft Games. And then uh, go to Halo. And then that's the same folder with maps in it and stuff as if you click Find Target. But Find Target is faster. Okay, um, uh, okay now uh, you're going to want to open up that tool. This is to actually start scanning. Here we go. Uh, it's called Halo uh, HMT 3.5 or Halo Map Tools 3.5, double click on the thing in the folder. Then uh, then you're going to want to go see if you notice everything's empty, but go down to and click Open Map Fire or whatever that button says. And then uh, navigate back to your Maps directory, which is the one that you just navigated to for the backups. You know, it's C Program Files, Microsoft Games. I just clicked on the wrong thing there. I was just trying Okay, uh, now uh, click on any map, as long as it's a map, not the bitmaps or the sounds or anything. doesn't matter. I just clicked on bloodgulch.map. That's a pretty normal map. Okay, then uh, look through the tag list right here. This is where all the mods are pretty much stationed around. You can mod different stuff in here, but I don't recommend doing that if you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. But uh, find uh, the one labeled bitmaps, which should be near the top because it's in alphabetical order. And then after you open up bitmaps, just go and find... We're going to skin a ghost for this tutorial. Go and find... Uh, it's like vehicles-ghost-ghost dash dash or something. Not the ones that are like destroyed ghosts and stuff. You don't want to skin those. You want And don't skin the multipurpose. Just skin the uh, one that's like vehicles-bitmaps-ghost-ghost dash, dash or something like that. It'll work with anything except like this. The ghost, for instance, only has one thing. But click, uh, click save texture next to there. Then go and find a folder that you'll remember to save the texture in. Cause it'll open up the thing to save it, you know. And then just click save. Then exit out of um, HMT. And uh, there you have it. There's your uh, DDS texture of the ghost. Notice how you can't open it. Unless you have like Photoshop with all these fancy plugins, then you don't need to do the next step, but most people don't. Okay, now open up the uh, BM, uh, whatever it's called, to DXT thing. It's that thing's shaped like an airplane. Now take the, this part's pretty hard. Take the uh, file that you just saved, click and drag it into the little box, and now it'll show the uh, ghost texture that you saw on HMT. Then just go to File, Save As, uh, 24 something 
bitmap, it's like the second one from the bottom. I think it's 24 bit bitmap or something. And then just save it as whatever you want. Uh, can be anything, it doesn't matter. Pro probably in the same folders you save the DDS texture. And there, there it is right there. It, now it's a BMP and you can open it. See, it's a BMP. So, okay, now the next part is pretty self explanatory, but I'll show you how to do it just as an example in a sec. So, just you can just right click it and go to uh, open with paint. If you have, or you can just, or you can open it with any program you want. Like you could open it with GIMP or Photoshop or whatever. Okay, now, uh, now you can just edit it just like a normal BMP image. You know, like I'm just gonna do like a little example. Like say you want like a on the little side wing thing. You want ooh spray paint a lion. Woo you know, all these things are symmetrical though, so you can't like put like one thing on one side and one thing on the other. That doesn't work. You have to it's gonna be on both sides because it only shows one wing. It'll put it exactly identical on the other side. That's why um writing words isn't very smart because it'll directly mirror, mirror it onto the other one so it'll be like literally backwards like mirrored so you shouldn't do words unless there's only like one thing like on some parts of like the word hug and stuff also another thing I'll tell you while this is editing is that uh some things like the warthog have different things that you can save like you can save the warthog tires from HMT and the warthog uh body and stuff and like and the warthog gun and then you have to skin all those separately and then inject them the same way that I'm about to show you and then uh, it'll do those but the ghost only has one piece so that's why it's, I chose it because it's really easy okay now what you're gonna wanna do is go to your uh, BMP that you just saved because you saved that thing that you just edited which I mean you just save it by just exiting and then clicking save as whatever you don't you can save it as whatever you want okay now click and drag that BMP that you just uh a bitmap you just uh, edited and click into the box and I'll show it pop up and then just go to save as uh, DDS texture or, or it's DDS I'm pretty sure it's DDS texture and then uh, just name it whatever you want I, I saved as ghost as skin ghost or something dot DDS just put dot DDS after there like you can save it ghost dot DDS and just click save uh, now Okay, now what you want to do is you just go down, see how it's saved now as another one of those things. That's the edited one. The one above it isn't edited. And then just go back to HMT, open it up. Open up the map you just had open. If you're using 3.5, you can just open it from a file like a Word document. But if you're not, if you're using 3.0, you have to actually open it like manually, like the same way that we opened it before. Then just go to your uh, bitmaps tags place. Go down to the uh, vehicles dash bitmaps dash ghost dash ghost or whatever it's called. The one that I click on on here. It's then go uh, to inject texture instead of save texture. Then you just go navigate to the folder that you saved that DDS texture we just did and convert it back to a DDS from a bitmap and then uh, double click it. One right there, yeah. Okay, then I'll be like, ooh, so you just successfully did blah 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 and then it'll show everything change. Congratulations, you just successfully skinned your first thing. Now if you open up Halo and play it. I'm not going to do it because I'm running out of time for this video, but uh, it'll show your skin vehicle in Halo. It's really not that hard once you get used to it. it it's just, uh, it's not even tedious really. It's pretty easy. So, bye.